How do YouTube and welcome to this episode of The Gunman. So today we're going to be doing a review and demonstration on the Dur Eco Gun 910. Now this gun here may look quite familiar because uh, in the past I've actually done a review and demo and used a little bit of the Nordzen Trilogy. However, they are functionally exactly the same. So you can get all the same air caps, fluid tips and setups and all of that stuff. There actually is one little tweak that has been done. Now previously it had this annoying swivel down the bottom of the gun which they've actually gotten rid of. It, was, it would just like make the airline flop around in the base of your hand and it just felt wrong. Maybe if it's something that I was used to, it wouldn't be so annoying, but it really did annoy me, and it was something that I ended up taking off. So you'll notice on the side of the gun, they've got a uh, gauge there. So that's a pressure gauge, and it actually also adjusts the size of the fan too. So if you wind that gauge all the way back, you'll have the bot setting on the fan, and if you wind it all the way forward, then you'll have the full wide open fan. So if you look at the front of the air cap, one of them says AC, and the other one says L. LVLP. So LVLP I have actually found to be the better of the two. Now I found the AC which is a conventional cap. It just went through a little bit too much material. Now it was only say 10 or 20 mils per panel but you add that up over a year and it's going to make a pretty big difference to the uh, material consumption of the workshop. So here you go is a look side by side from the Nordzen to the Dur. I personally think the Nordson does look that little bit better with the shiny body and you may have noticed that I was pointing to the base of the gun with my thumb just before. Um, the base of that gun where it plugs in and where the air fitting goes in, it's got like this little tab that sort of comes down and I ended up having to cut it off the Nordson. That's how annoying that little air swivel was and if I just put a standard air fitting in there I found that the air coupling on the um, end of my airline wouldn't actually fit into the gun because it was sort of so tight in there so but at least they've got rid of that now so that's at least one good thing now spray guns direct did actually send this gun out to me and they specifically asked me they said hey we're going to do an order we're going to get some of these in do you want that little swivel down the base of the gun on that air fit and i said hell no i don't want that um, just put a standard air fitting so I can plug whatever air fitting I want down the bottom. You know, you don't need your airline flopping around at the base of your gun. I'd, yeah, I'd prefer it to be nice and stiff. You hold the, as you see me there, I'm holding one side of the airline and I know where that airline's going to be. It's not going to go and flop into the panel. So, I mean, I guess they were thinking and they were trying something different, but it doesn't in practice always end up to be... Um, the best thing for the painter you know what I mean so previous to me making a Nordson video which is the other one of these guns as I mentioned before spray guns direct reckons they never sold any of these barely like lucky to sell one a year if that you know um, and they said yeah look after me doing the Nordson review they, they'd sell like one or two a year but they're really not that popular these guns you know they're okay but I don't know, there's just something about it that's just not that exciting. I mean, it, it performs okay. It, uh, as I said, with the LVLP and the 1.2 is, I've found the best uh, setup on it. Now, one plus of these is that you can go all the way from 1.0 up to 3 mil. There is actually loads and loads of different fluid tip sizes, but I just find them a little bit underwhelming. I'm not quite sure exactly what it is. Like, I used this gun for about two or three weeks on just about every single job. It's not like it's going through a load of paint. It's not like it's not capable of good finishes, but... I don't know why, I'm just a little bit underwhelmed with it. It's not an exciting gun. I don't know if it's the looks or just the feel or so there's just something about it that, I don't know, I use it for a few weeks and then it just got put to the side and it's collecting dust sitting on my bench. So yeah, it's one of those things, even at the price, which is just about halved, as I said, I don't know, it's, it's a pretty tough market out there with spray guns. You've got some really good guns that aren't overly expensive. So to me, it would be a tough call to recommend this gun over other guns that are in its price bracket. Like, I know some people call me a DeVilvis fanboy, and I'm happy to wear that. But for the rest of us that just want a good quality gun that performs, that you know, that is still a good price yeah 
go and get yourself a GPI, get yourself an FLG5, or even just a Pro Light, something like that. They're all under or around the same price of this, and as I say, there's just something about it. It's just, it just feels like 20 years ago it would have been awesome, but now maybe just a little bit dated, and yeah, I believe these guns have actually been around for quite some time. There is actually one other brand that these things were uh, branded as. So there was Optima Trifinity, there was Nordzen, and there was Dur, but they're all actually exactly the same gun. So yeah, when I was working back there in Melbourne, I worked with a guy and he saw my Nordzen and he goes, hey man, that's an Optima Trifinity, but with a different name on it. So yeah, I think Dur is actually the original maker of this spray gun. So that that's what yeah I have in my hand now, Dur. Um, but yeah, look, if you are to get one, get the LBLP, get the 1.2 if you're looking at using it for clear, unless you're in an extremely hot environment, you know, like say our West Aussie summers or something like that, you might want to go for the 1.3. But even then, honestly, there's better guns out there than this. You, you could do better with your sort of 200 pounds, which is what it's listed for on Spray Guns Direct website. That, I, I think that there is um, better value for money guns out there. I mean, the quality, I, that's one thing actually. If it wasn't for the second one of these, so they sent two of them out so that I could get a feel for all the different um, air caps and fluid tips. Now, one of them behind the air packing gland, I think that's what you call it, it's the part that's behind the trigger um, that turns the air on one of these guns is actually sticking and that's from brand new um, once you pull it in really tight you can feel this little click on that um, air packing gland um, now that sort of brings a bit of a shadow into the back of my mind about the quality of the gun you know as i say the nordzen looks better it's got that nice glossy finish to it it this with the matte finish i've never been the biggest fan of a matte finish spray gun they just seem I don't know, a little bit harder to keep clean and they like never look great. They always look okay, but they never look great, if you know what I mean. So yeah, this is the gun for clear coat again. As I say, you know, it's it's more than capable of great finishes, but just find myself a touch on the underwhelmed side. So yeah, look, that's about it. Probably all I really wanted to mention about this gun. I just thought I'd get this video out for you guys. I um, had a couple of hours spare on my Saturday this week. I do apologize um, if I don't get videos up every week for you guys. Lately, I've just been um, spending a bit more time with the family at home and relaxing on my weekends. But in saying all that, I do have some big plans for this uh, channel. Whenever I do get behind the computer and start editing, I always do have a bit of fun. I guess partly it's just uh, getting the energy to actually get behind that computer and finding a little bit of time to um, edit up a video. So yeah, look, um, one of my next biggest projects is gonna be an updated top 10. Part of me actually wants to wait until the latest uh, Devilvis comes out. I believe they're doing a DV1 uh, clear coat edition. So yeah, I'll be interested to see how that goes, review that first and then maybe, um, yeah, include that in the top 10, the updated top 10, because yeah, my last one is a little bit outdated, but yeah, look, the other side of it is I've got over 500 videos on this channel. I think I've done a pretty good job at staying um, uh, pretty frequent with my uploads. I've kept to my weekly schedule for quite a long time now, but yeah, look, as I say, if I don't get a video up on Friday, don't panic, I'm still all good. I've just been a little bit on the busy side um, yeah, one of the other things, some of my videos lately I've just been putting music in and I think I might stop doing that because I just think maybe it waters down the quality of the content on this channel and yeah, I had one guy say, oh, you know, you, this channel used to be great but now it's just trash or garbage and I mean, I thought that was a little bit harsh, you know, you're gonna go and um, forget about all the good videos and the good work I've done to try and help people learn how to spray paint because you don't like a couple of them that have music in it well oh goodbye you know but for the rest of us hope you don't mind the music ones too much but as i say if i don't have time to um narrate them maybe i'll just uh wait until i get the time rather than just putting music in them so 
Yeah, the other side of it is that I'm usually a little bit more active on my Gunman Raw channel, so, you know, if you want more Gunman videos that are sort of unedited uh, and narrated on the fly as I'm spraying, you know, you can go over and check out that second channel. Um, but apart from that, yeah, look, as I said, it's a, it's a very capable gun, just to touch on the underwhelming side, this Durr spray gun here, you know. So I've given you guys a look at it spraying VOC top coat, which is what you see me spraying now. And at the start of this video, I was using it for clear coat. That was just the standock standard clear. And yeah, look, as you can tell, it's a very capable gun, but yeah, just a touch on the underwhelming side for me anyway. Now I have actually used this gun for base coat and same thing, it's very capable, but for whatever reason, I'm just not overly excited about it. As far as settings go, they stay pretty much the same as most spray guns these days, just full fan, full fluid and two bar pressure and off you go. Obviously, just drop that pressure down a little bit if you're spraying base coat. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let us know what you think. If you've got one, you know, let everyone else know what you think of the gun in the comments down below. Until next time, get out there and paint some shit. Thanks for watching, and this has been another Gunman Production. Goodbye.